Hi, my name's Bruce Dickinson. I'm the lead singer for Iron Maiden. And uh, you're listening to, uh, we're watching even, Traditionally Tom. I'm going to be talking about heavy metal, what it means and the way it has evolved over the years and kind of where it's at and where we're at right now. I think there's um, definitely a difference between uh, the United States and and Europe, although to my great disappointment, um, I think many European bands and, and British bands um, uh, have this terrible desire to copy everything that happens in the United States. Um, uh, for example, when uh, Guns N' Roses came out, uh, you couldn't find an English band who would own up to liking Led Zeppelin or Judas Priest or Black Sabbath, which were great classic English bands. Everybody wanted to be like Guns N' Roses. Um, and yet you can't be like Guns N' Roses if you come from England. You don't live in that environment. You weren't brought up like those kids were brought up. And Americans can't do what English guys can do. They weren't brought up, they didn't have the background and everything else. I do think America makes some great music. Um, and I think Europe makes some great music. And I think each country, each group of people should play to their strengths. And, and the roots of music come from your own roots. It comes from where you come from. Back in the 70s, the only way to learn to play guitar uh, was to pick it up and learn it off other people's records or to go to a couple of guys who maybe could give you a few ideas. Most people were self-taught uh, or had some classical training and then they turned that into rock and roll. Um, now you can go to school and you can study and you can go to the Guitar Institute of Technology and you can go to singing school and you can go to drum school and you can get a qualification in being a rock star. And all this I find very sad because it takes away the essential nature of, of all creativity in music, which is that it starts from something primal. You know, you cannot, it's, it's, it's almost wrong that you should learn this from a book, you know. It has to be a, a, a journey of, of self-discovery and self-expression. Otherwise, go and learn classical piano or something else like that, and, and that's a different journey. But if you don't want to do that, then I really think that people's, what happens if you go to school and learn to play guitar is that immediately your instincts and your your natural style is straight away suppressed because you concentrate on learning all this stuff and it, it'll people never recover from that uh, actually rock music has a history of people singing songs that nobody understands you know I mean rock music has a whole history of lyrics that are nonsense um, you know a what bap a loo a what bam boom you know to the fruity, oh Rudy, I mean, what does it mean? You know, who cares, it sounds great, you know? So that's the whole point. If you, if you think about this stuff too much, you destroy it. Uh, if you don't think about it enough, it's like you don't care. It's always a question of, of balance. You're always, with rock music, especially heavy metal music, you're always walking a, a tightrope. You know, you fall off this side and you look stupid, it's Spinal Tap, you know. Um, uh, you fall off this side, you know, and it's just rubbish. But you do it in the middle and you get it right and people go, wow, that was great. You know, that's just, that was just right, you know. There is a series of urban myths about uh, rock stars' behavior. Um, uh, the same way that uh, every year somebody puts their cat in the microwave again, um, you know, or they, they try to dry their cat in the tumble dryer, uh, and all these stories, which are all urban myths, 
There have been some very badly behaved rock stars. There have been some very badly behaved presidents of countries. You know, uh, all people who have a lot of money and take too many drugs eventually behave very stupidly. Um, and you don't have to be a rock star to do that. The things that I love about heavy metal are the comradeship, musicianship, originality, and passion. The thing I hate about heavy metal, and music in general, is um, uh, being cool, being fashionable, uh, you know, paparazzi, uh, gossip columns. I hate all that shit. It's unnecessary. It's pointless. You know, people like it, but I don't, and so I play no part in it. Uh, we always talk about, in, in, in Iron Maiden, we always talk every night about a good gig. But we always say, yeah, it was a great show, it was right on the edge. And heavy metal is always about being right on the edge. And I don't mean on the edge of throwing yourself off a bridge. I mean musically on the edge. You know, the best motor car engines always sound best just before they destroy themselves just at the moment when they can't go anymore. That's when they sound great. And it's exactly the same with rock and roll bands. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode of Tradition and the, the stuff I've been talking about has been of some value in uh, helping you to understand what we get up to in the world of heavy metal. Uh, my name's Bruce Dickinson. I'm from Iron Maiden. And I hope you have a, a terrific day, week, month, year, whatever. And we see each other again. Bye.